I know, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late! But that's not important. What is, is that direct. My god. Hey all, what up? It's Annoyed Vern, and pff, wow, uh, that direct was something, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to record it live, but I had to rush off to work not long after, so I was like, eh, I'm gonna leave it, and just do this. So, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get an overview of what happened in the direct, and also, I mean, <laughs> if you haven't seen the news, where have you been under a rock? Like. It's big news. We've been waiting like 15 years for this thing, and it's finally here. But it started off the direct. I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna skip through little bits at a time so I don't get copyright striked because you know DMCA and all that. But I'm gonna I'm playing at half speed if I do play anything, so hopefully I don't get struck. But they started off with a nice little montage of every single thing that's happened in the Pokemon. It, in all of Pokemon, like, you know, pinball, the main games, the side games, the anime, the movies, the devices, the card game, the plushies, everything. They went through it all and every six, even this, even this, this thing. It goes all the way up to date and then, yeah, it shows, like, remember this? Pokemon Smile, a game where you were meant to brush your goddamn teeth. Yeah, me neither. And then, obviously, the Pokemon stores with awesome Mewtwo and stuff. We go into our boy Ishihara himself, who is always good news! Every time he appears, it's good news! Unless it's like, you know, the mobile games. Over to get some news about, yep, Pokemon Snap. And some more actual decent footage. I mean, I'm, I've, I've already pre-ordered it. Okay, a little bit of a mini announcement in this. I've bought it for the channel. I'm going to be playing it. Don't know whether I'm going to record it or... Maybe even live stream. But you've got the new professor, Professor Mirror, and your rival, I would assume, if there even is rivals in this, called Phil, I think. Phil? Phil? I don't know. P H I L is how it's spelled. And then, wait, no, is this Phil? I don't know. Basically, we get. A, yeah. So that was. Oh, that was his assistant. That's the rival. That's Phil. And then it just. It's giving you a basic overview of all the different Pokemon in it and all the biomes. Oh look, it's a surfing Raichu. Oh, awesome. Oh, it's so pretty. And then you give some vapor of food, and it's a slightly old game. You kind of interact with them in the sense that they'll get, you know, different reactions from you, and when you catch that reaction, it's like, whoa, you did great, well done, kind of thing. I never played the original, but I've seen a lot of people talk about it and play it in the past. So, like there, the Tyranitar screaming, that's probably how it's going to happen. Uh, there's also night. I don't know if it's like a toggle situation, like you can only get certain Pokemon at night or certain Pokemon in the day. But I'd like it if you could go back to different things and change the setting at night, maybe day. So like this with a Noctowl. Noctowl? Who's who? Who? God damn it! I suck. I know Pokemon. I swear. But yeah. So in the trailer, they're playing a song, uh, like a little melody to like get the Hoot Hoot to actually want to sort of react. And it yeah enjoys it and then get a different thing. Now this is the this is the new mechanic of the game. I think it's called a Lumius Orb, and it makes them glow and like definitely interact in a unique way. So like with the Swanner here, we've got you know obviously the Swanner and the Duckler all swimming together. But as soon as he threw the orb, they started to glow and they did a thing. Like with this freaking score bunny kicking out blue flames. I like it. I'm liking it a lot. And they've basically added a social media feature where you can share it online, I guess, and add filters, you know, because filters make everything pretty. Uh, <laughs> and you can add various different stickers and stuff to just get a general, more desired look, I guess. But I'm, I'm hyped, I'm hyped. What was that? Wait, 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 hold up, is that, is that Magikarp just sucking on a Frillish? Just like catching a ride off a Frillish? Or are they eating the, Oh, God! <laughs> Whatever, I'm over it. But yeah, that's Pokemon Snap. Uh, oh, wait, no, there was one more thing. There was one more little thing. Oh, you see it? You see it? That, uh, uh, it's the Celebi. We're getting uh, uh, Celebi. 
confirmed in the game. So whether there's going to be just the, you know, occasional mythical or the set mythicals, or we're going to get them all. I don't know. I'm guessing it's going to be a set amount of Pokemon. Maybe, you know, a couple here, a couple there from each gen. Maybe a legendary or two. But overall, that was Pokemon Snap and we got the release date again. Some people are like, oh my god, we got released. We had it before pre-orders were up. Uh, they announced some stuff about, yeah, the mobile games. They For the 25th anniversary, if you logged in, you get extra bonuses. But this, this is what we want to see. It goes back for a mini little timeline of everything. Oh my god. Uh, so it goes back to 2007. Now I, oh, this. Okay, so Emerald was was my childhood game, right? But Diamond was my youth. That was like through up to teenage stage until I was like, oh, Pokemon's not cool anymore. I don't want to get popular with Pokemon. That's a lie. If you like Pokemon, stick at it. But we get the nice little intro. Intro? And uh, I'm ruining it. <laughs> we get the nice little intro music to the original Diamond and Pearl games. Oh my god, and then they're showing us a little flashback of what we had, and then it goes straight into it. We are Diamond and Pearl remakes! Yep, yeah, it's- uh, we've waited 15 years for this thing. I mean, it's been 15 years since it came out. We've been waiting ages for this thing, and it's finally here. Now, I like it, I'm super hyped for it. I think I'm getting both, just because that's the kind of person I am. I'm a bit of a sucker for it. But like, look, look, look at- Look at the, the ah, the, the Pokemon. They look so nice. It's not like let's go in the sense of, you know, it's too. I don't know, too clean. Like the effects on the Ember looking nice, and the Leaf Storm. Look, look at the people. Look at that. Look at Dawn. She looks great. And then the catching animation. Ah, oh, looking nice. It's looking nice. We we have. Confirmed underground as well, which I was worried they were going to take out because obviously most of it was on the bottom screen So I don't know how they're going to do it. Maybe it's going to have an actual because handheld switch mode has touch screen Maybe they're going to do it like that. But what about if you're playing docked mode? What if you're recording it? I don't know. We'll see. We don't know a lot yet We've just got this little snippet and we'll kind of go at it. Also, I'm sorry, but you see Lucario and check out this hyper beam Look how pretty it is that's not a hyper beam, that's a beam of death! Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, I was very excited about this yesterday. And I, uh, I, just, I just wish I could have recorded it when it happened. But the age old question of, is it a, is it a pal... That's a good point. Is it, is it a Palkia? Is it a Dialga? That's, well, I mean, that's obviously a Dialga, but why has it got Palkia's legs? It's got Palkia's legs and Palkia's arm kind of things. So, I don't know if they tried to merge it or if that's going to be something in the game. It's not going to be something in the game. I just think this is like probably a callback to say like, oh yeah, this is how it was before. Because, you know, Palkia has the wings and then Dialga doesn't. Dialga has the big kind of fan at the back. So, I think it's probably just a callback to see which one it, it kind of was. But... You can see the Dialga face clearly there, like, there's no hiding that. You're making it look like a Dialga at the front, but you're making the bat look like a Palkia. Which one is it? <laughs> so we get that and a big zoom in, and we officially have the titles. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. And then, not only that, it's coming. 2021 this year we are get not only did we not expect diamond and pearl remake we wanted it but didn't expect it not only that it's coming this year it's coming this year i'm so hyped oh I, I i i can't wait i'm getting both like i said but i played diamond when i was younger and i think i'm gonna play pearl on the channel because i mean i bought pearl recently in the past few months but I never got around to playing it, so I think I might as well just give it a shot on the channel. So let me know what you guys think. If you want to, just drop in the comments. And also, let me know what you think about this video. If, if you know, you're excited for brilliant 
Diamond and Shining Pearl or what else is to come. Because this thing, this thing blew my mind, okay? So sit down, stand up gaming, sent me a link the morning of this release, this direct, and said, oh, look at this thing, wouldn't it be cool? And it was, it was this, I, I looked at it and I was like, this has got to be fake, this has got to be fake, you know, Pokemon would have taken it down by now. Oh no, this is it. This is a brand new title. <sighs> but, oh, I forgot to mention, Game Freak is not making Diamond and Pearl. It's people who made Pokemon Home, but with Game Freak input kind of thing. So they're keeping original, and not gonna lie, I mean, I know I've just I've just hyped this up and then I've gone back. Does anyone not else think that this looks very much like Animal Crossing had a baby with Link's Awakening? Like, I like it. I'm liking the style, but the hands, the hands are too big. The hands are way too big. But I look at that. Look, look. I don't know. Maybe I'm just moaning, but I'm still hyped. I'm still super excited. I like how they kind of kept it chibi but also not at the same time like they kept it true to the original in the sense of you got the top down view still you've got you know the, the characters looking the same sort of way i mean their eyes are very big but that's just the style the art style of it and i guess the hands and feet are also the same art style so i'm just contradicting myself but as you can see like the environments look absolutely stunning i mean they've put so much time into it like Look at the lighting, the lighting in, I forgot the name of the city, I think it's Lumios, I don't know. If I got it wrong, laugh at me. I, I, I'm fine with you laughing at me. But like, oh my god, like, like here. Kept the original kind of, you know, your small outside a game, but in battle, in the, in the overworld, but in battle, you're kind of big again. And I'm liking it, I'm liking it a lot. I don't know, I'm just... Yeah, I'm just a sucker for Pokemon, and anytime they bring out anything Pokemon, I'm like, SHUT UP AND TAKE MY MONEY! But, I, I'm hyped. I'm really, really hyped. I mean, I, I played Diamond recently, just as a, as a nostalgia thing, and I forgot how good it was. So I'm, I'm really glad they kept it kind of true to the originals, and we'll just have to see where it goes from here. But, as I was saying, this is a brand new... I, I don't even I don't even have words for it. It's it's an ancient Sinnoh, right? So this is before this is before gyms and the Pokemon League and all that stuff. Like if if you saw, let's go back a bit. Look here, they're not even real Pokeballs. Well, I mean they're real Pokeballs, but they're ancient Pokeballs. Like look, it's made of wood and it's got like I don't know if you can see, but they've got little like almost like just, like briefcase fasteners on them. So they'll lock them in. And I'm, I'm, I'm all for this. I'm absolutely loving this. I, I love, I love the art style of these kind of old feudal Japan sort of art. Oh, it's just so pretty. But then, no, no, don't, don't be mistaken. This is not Breath of the Wild. This is the new Pokemon game. This is Pokemon Legends Arceus. And it looks stunning. What? I mean, as you can see, that's that is based in Sinnoh, as we saw with the Piplups earlier, and it's been confirmed it's Sinnoh. But that looks like a really, really old Dawn, if that makes sense. Like you're obviously gonna have Lucas and Dawn, the main characters you play as, but I think they're gonna be almost taken back in time. Not them, if it was Fugal Japan, and I'm loving it. So, all the buildings are Japanese. -y. I mean, I've had a lot of people complain about both things, but I mean, look at that! Come on, come on! Look at look at the character design. It is oh, it's so good. And then we have the most important feature of it's an open world RPG action RPG. I hate to say it again, but it's like Breath of the Wild meets Pokemon. I mean, look, just watch this. Like, okay, so you're diving. What have you ever been able to dive in Pokemon? And look, you look how you catch Pokemon. You, it, ah! and then I, I just, I can't. And then you know, it rocks a couple of times. And the best part is that when you catch it, 
There it is. I don't know if you can quite see it. It's got a little tiny thumbs up <laughs> under, under, under the firework. But, I mean, this is unlike anything we've seen. And I I was blown away. And I, I just, I can't get over it. I mean, I, I, it's been confirmed as well that there aren't, this isn't the only way of catching Pokemon. It's not like, let's go in the sense you couldn't battle wild Pokemon and stuff. You can, as it will show you in a bit. But, uh, yeah. Like, look at this. Look at how pretty it is. Now, I'm not 100% sure if it's a case of you can battle and walk around. Because you do see later on. Uh, is it? Is it uh, ruining it? No. So, there has been, like, confirmed shots, like, screenshots of the old battle screens of like HP bars, levels, the moves, super effectiveness stuff. Um, so there is still the traditional type of battling, but I'm not 100% sure if this is a case of he's in the battle, but he's moving around for more cinematic shots or what, or if this is just a case of maybe before you start a battle, you bring out your Pokemon and they have almost like Monster Hunter style turf war, like kind of like a standoffish sort of like appearance. Maybe, I don't know, but it's looking pretty, man. It's so pretty. And also, oh yeah, so there's more Pokemon in the wild. Ugh, it's just so pretty. Wild starters, because obviously it's based in a time before, you know, Sinnoh, Sinnoh was old, like real, real old. It was like, I mean, we don't know any confirmed stuff yet, but like, oh, it's so pretty. And like, obviously the starters aren't going to be as as rare because they're just going to be roaming about. And this is going to be Sinnoh, so I'm thinking that we are going to be just restricted to Sinnoh Pokemon. Unless there is some form of imported, like, Pokemon from different realms, if it's home or what. But speaking of that, oh yeah, Lucario beating up Staraptor and that Budu, the Budu's jumping about a lot, but... But it's just, I mean, just take a second to look at this. I mean, how pretty is that? Oh my god. And then, it's weird, but these are our starters. These are the start. We don't get Sinnoh starters. What it is, is we have a professor that's travelled from other regions to come to give you your star. Not just specifically you, but he gives you a starter that he's found from other regions, which I fucking love. Like... Obviously, he's been up to Johto. Well, probably down from... Whichever way Sinnoh is from Johto. And he's just gone, ooh, Cyndaquil. I love it. And he's gone all the way over to Unova. So he's gone, ooh, Oshawa. And then he's gone ages away to Alola to get a Rowlet. But yeah. I mean, I'm down. I mean, I was thinking about it. Like, how cool it's going to be when they're finally... Like, they couldn't have picked better, like, for the sort of aesthetic of it you know like old japan and they've got a samurai they've got an ancient archer and they've got an awesome badass fire honey badger but the samurai and the archer samurai decidui typhlosion just badass so we'll let it off but that's 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 it yeah and then it it fades to black and we have I thought it was all over at this point, but there is more, and this is where we get the grand reveal. Everybody knows those feetsies. That's Arceus, Arceuses, and then we get the back of Arceus. Oh, Arceus. I can't call it Arceus because its name's changed because of the UK. But we see Arceus. Nay, <laughs> epic pose galaxy exploding behind him maybe this was the creation of everything but then we roll in with the title pokemon legends arceus i don't know what that means i don't know what that means arceus is obviously gonna be the biggest point of the game because i mean it's kind of in the name but what what i mean we've never I'm just happy we finally have an actual kind of dedicated story in game to mythicals other than the old sort of Ruby Sapphire, you know, or Diamond and Pearl as well, sort of events 
that not everyone could get and that have now expired, we get an actual story and maybe some goddamn sense about what happened at the start. Because, yeah, Arceus created the universe, apparently, but... How? He says he did, with his 10,000 arms. I don't- I, I didn't see any arms. He's just got four little legs. But, that was Pokemon Legends Arceus as well. So, that was the direct. I know I was really late, but I want to know what you guys think. Because I'm very excited for both. Yeah, I've kind of got Pokemon Tunnel Vision of every Pokemon game is great until, you know, it's there for a year and I'm like, eh. But, I'm super excited for both. Ugh, we finally get Diamond and Pearl remakes. I just can't get over it. And th this new title, I, I always say that they, they kind of they release a game, like a mini game, to test out what they're going to do for the next gen. So I'm thinking that this mass open world of Legends of Arceus is going to be crucial to what happens in Gen 9. I think maybe a couple years down the line they'll take what they've got from this and adapt it into it. But... This could just be a real big passion project of theirs as well, which either way I'm super excited for. Because, like, this game, this game looks awesome. This is nothing ever that they've even attempted before. I mean, they've, they've done this kind of scale with the, the wild area, but it's, just, it's so big. My only worry is that maybe it's going to be so big and they're like, yep, yeah, we've got this massive sandbox and they just don't know what to put in it. But... It's still early days. It's late. It's coming around. I think early 2022. It said, but I mean that's still like what, about a year away. They've got plenty of time to, you know, do the stuff they need to do or want to do. And I, I can't wait. I can't wait to see more. We'll probably get something mid to late 2021. More information on this kind of stuff. But that was my sort of overview of the direct. What do you think? I, I'm really, really up for it. I'm so excited to play Diamond and Pearl again. I'm going to do it on the channel. I think I'm going to do a playthrough or a Nuzlocke or something. But I have to do something with it. And as you know, I've got Pokemon Snap on the way as soon as it's released. So that will be also up here too. So, I've been Annoyed Vern. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>